some interesting items to show you, things that should be in a museum. Problem is, there's no place to display them. Channel 6's Joan Cuthbertson explains. We have a lot of historical buildings, a lot are on the, the uh, National Register. Uh, I have some old homes. In fact, Eudora's Historical Society has accumulated over a hundred items from the city's past, some over a century old. We have a, a quilt made back during the bicentennial in 1976 that we just don't have a place to, dis to display it at. We have several items in homes, World War I medals, um, maps. We have uh, the gun from the post office that was used back in the early part of the century. Actually, the gun wasn't used, but it was, was, the post office was required to keep it there. We also have silver from the Pilla family, and the Pilla family was one of the leading families in the early part of the century here in Eudora. Right now, a lot of that is being kept at residents' homes. That's because the city doesn't have a building to use as a museum to keep everything under one roof. The libraries lend it a hand, offering some space, but it's expanding too and won't have the room much longer. Society members say sometimes a person in town will have an interesting item they say they'd like to donate, but when they find out there's no place to display it, they change their minds. Every day we live is we're creating history. We have the history behind us to go by, but if you don't preserve it now, down the road, well, you're not going to be able to make it. Klaus says he hopes to hear from anyone who might want to donate some space or have a helpful suggestion for solving the museum dilemma. For the Lawrence Report, I'm Joan Cuthbertson. If you're interested in getting in touch with Mr. Klaus, you can reach him at the number on your screen. That's 542-2298.